Um, I think where, as far as my cultural roots and my identifying with the Japanese people, Hawaiian people, I always have, I have, a, I've always had a very proud, fierce uh, connection with the culture. And um, on the other hand, coming out as bisexual, my, my internalized biphobia was just, I'm not like that. When I, I was an out lesbian, I fell in love with a man. Whoops, in 1980, that's a pretty big thing. And I, I, I couldn't even say I was bisexual. I said lesbian identified bisexual so quick because I just couldn't say bisexual by myself. I had to prove that I, you know, I wasn't a traitor. I didn't want to be kicked out. It was my community. But the internalized biphobia was enormous. It took years. It really did to kind of like, I'm not a swinger. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not into three ways. I, whatever, whatever stereotype I had in my head, I had to live through every single one of them. And as I met more people, as I talked about it, I thought, oh, well, no wonder I had to say lesbian identified bisexual. I was so biphobic, I couldn't do it. But there I was in love with a man. Well, it, I was truly in love with this person. And how could that be wrong?